speaker. But when it came to Toastmasters, all I saw was serious and important speeches. So I'm looking forward to seeing more humorous speeches from this Toastmaster. Please put your hands together to welcome DTM Sundar Raman onto the stage. DTM Sundar Raman. Ironic moments. Ironic moments. Ironic moments, DTM Sundar Raman. Uh, today, speaker one made uh, two um, uh, arms passes. Actually, you know, uh, you know, he think, uh, I think uh, he also made uh, five filler words. <coughs> you know, speaker two made um, two passes and, uh, and uh, there were uh, filler words also. With that, I complete my accounter report. What you Today I was uh, privileged to give this uh, grammarian report. I was uh, amazed with the pronunciations of the Toastmaster of the day. Uh, when the speaker and gave his uh, humorous speech, I could not be able to control uh, my laughter. Big, big jokes, you know. So with that, uh, let me complete my grammarian report. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, when the accountant and the grammarian gave such kind of reports, people started thinking, what is this? Actually, these are all ironic comments. The accountant is supposed to count the actual filler words and the long pauses, but in this report, he made such kind of uh, mistakes. And that the grammarian is supposed to point out the good usage of words and uh, the not so good usage of English, but he himself made the mistakes. So these are called ironic comments. Ironic moments not only happen in our formal life, if we keep our ears and eyes open, the ironic moments are everywhere. And if you consciously look for them, you can start laughing at them, that will make your life in a lighter moment. Long time back, we were all sitting at home, it was a holiday, and all of us were bored, and we wanted to go somewhere, and not for a mall, not for a movie. And my wife said, so then why don't you see the paper and then find out if some interesting event is happening. Then I looked through the newspaper and then saw the events column and I found one interesting event. It was by an academy called Max Academy. And the event was supposed to happen in the image auditorium near Chitnad Vidyashram. And uh, we were clueless about this program, just like that we went there. And when we went there, we found that this academy was promoting how to do your memory skills of the participants and uh, the auditorium was filled with the, all the existing members who are aware of the program and uh, the people who wanted to improve their memory skills and uh, some onlookers like me without uh, coming there without any clue and uh, the academy was uh, giving us, uh, present their presentation and after that the members who are aware of the program they started exhibiting their talents first came this little girl called Shalini and on a table there were 50 adored objects like pen, bo ink bottle, short snap, so many other things were there on a table, 50 or odd table uh, objects actually kept by some third person, so not one of the organizers. And uh, this girl came and then scanned uh, the entire article and after that the, the table was covered. And within one minute, well less than one minute, she was able to reproduce the number of items on the table and the entire audience gave a thunderous applause. The second participant, uh, he started demonstrating something slightly different. He was Mr. Ramakrishnan. Ramakrishnan actually, he has no financial background. But uh, like uh, Satish mentioned, he took something different. He started talking about, uh, just for demonstration purpose, he started taking an income tax uh, book and then the, the uh, panel members, jury were testing his skills. Right? They were asking random questions left and right about uh, what is the class that talks about income tax what is that uh, particular uh, year when the particular act was introduced and all the answers were visible on the screen for the audience but he could not see it but he was in a position to answer all of them without any difficulty and again the audience gave a thunderous applause then finally one person came looked very orthodox his name was Apokuti Apokuti so while getting onto the stage he bowed on the stage and then 
touch the feet of uh, touch the ground and then enter the stage and here he was supposed to talk about uh, different aspects of bhagavad gita and again the question and answers were displayed on the led screens the panel members were asking questions like out of 18 chapters and what particular chapter the actual gita preaching is started and who donated the chariot for arjuna well on the war all pointed questions and without any uh, he, he was able to answer all the questions and the audience again gave a thunderous applause and uh, then he left the uh, stage and uh, then the event max academy organizer wanted to talk about how this program is going well but uh, that is where the master of ceremony intervened sir excuse me sir i want to make an announcement yes please go ahead so mr apakuti so actually you left your slippers on the stage can you comment and collect it my god so the audience gave a thunderous applause than the previous time so i'm seeing this like ironic moment there are a lot of ironic moments happening in our day to day life let me give some examples for example a conference may be happening to highlight the importance and the create an awareness about the environmental protection right but here people come in huge cars convoy of cars and the conference table filled with so many pet bottles right very much defeating the purpose of the conference and in fact i remember one of my relatives sir, who was trying to purchase certificate he was trying to distort the score on the certificate he got it so when i went through that he actually the certificate was issued by examination on gandhi and thoughts so that is where he was trying to fetch the marks and there are some people who trying to bribe the government officials to get a job and finally they land up in jobs like vigilance and anti corruption department so there are several such examples but if you see there is a common thread what is the thread actually for every concept there is a very specific objective and when the very specific objective is defeated that is called ironic moment right okay. so if you start observing such ironic moments you will enjoy and you can laugh but when you yourself make the mistake you will be you will become a laughing stock so that is i look for ironic moments and be conscious of it so if you don't do that then you will become a laughing martyr and in fact in a humorous speech the very purpose of the speaker is to entertain the audience from the beginning till the end with the humorous anecdotes and uh, make them laugh but instead if the speaker is closing his speech with a message then that can also be an ironic moment do you agree to us first of all